Hi, my name is Liz Hathaway and this is my astrological look at the week ahead and that's the week starting Monday, April the 1st, 2019. So we have a new moon this week, a new moon in Aries. You know, that force, that power, that rush, that enthusiasm, that go-get, that, oh, you know, angels rush it, sorry, fools rush in where angels fear to tread. That's Aries, isn't it? You know, so some area in your chart where this moon is falling, this new moon is falling. This looking for some kind of sweeping the brush through there, starting again, fresh new look at things, new approach, new style, plenty of, you know, guts and energy behind it. And the success of anything we start this week is dependent on one key word, patience. Anything we start under this Aries new moon is going to need a lot of patience if we're going to bring it to fruition. Now, patience isn't really a word we associate with Aries, is it? I mean, if there's an impatient sign of the zodiac, then Aries is surely it. And yet with this new moon, square that very dignified Saturn in Capricorn. We know that plants are going to run into, into some kinds of problems. There's going to be sticky patches. There's going to be areas where things sort of slow down because that is the nature of Saturn. It slows things down and that is going to frustrate. A square is an aspect of frustration. So there's going to be frustration with anything new we set out and to achieve this week. And yet we know, you know, Saturn in, in, in Capricorn, it's kind of a disciplinarian, it is kind of strict, but it's also got that sort of dignity to it. So maybe to get it right, we cannot just simply rush at it. We need to read the small print, we need to take time, we need to review it, we need patience, which is why I said anything we start this week, the key word to getting some good results from it is patience. Another thing we need, though, around this new moon is vision. Because we have Mercury conjunct Neptune. Now, I'm just going to give you some kind of days here. So, Mercury conjunct Neptune in Pisces is tomorrow and Tuesday. So, this is where, you know, consciousness, you know, meets the ocean. You know, it's kind of so big and so vast and so all, yeah, all seeing, all being, all knowing. It's kind of quite um, Neptune, yeah, it's quite quite overwhelming in a way. It's like, you know, being in, in, in a ver vertex or a mist and you can't really quite see where you're going. And then Mercury there, which is close to the sun, close to the core identity. So we can, what's our vision? You know, what can we sort of intuitively sense, which we, you know, have to kind of somehow materialize and bring into being in the world. So this is, you know, actually a day before, am I right about that? No, the new moon is on Friday. So this Mercury-Neptune conjunction is Tuesday. So um, we're moving, you know, that, that, it's almost like, you know, Pisces is the sign before Aries. It's the 12th sign. It's, you know, if you look at it in terms of houses, it's, you know, where things are hidden. The 12th has a hidden quality, you know, inwardness, you know, sort of reflection. So maybe we need to do a little bit of work in finding what, 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 what story are we trying to tell? What, and what is our bigger vision? And we're feeding that then into Friday's new moon, which as I said, is gonna ask quite a bit of us because ironing out the fine details, especially with Mercury and Pisces, you know, you can see the big vast, but kind of getting it down into concrete, you know, steps and into smaller, you know, Virgo sort of like bite size, you know, pieces. That, that's the work, that's the effort, that's the Saturn bit of it. So, yeah, we have then on Saturday that the, we see Mercury sextile in Saturn again. So that's sort of picking up, I think, on the Saturn-Neptune sextile this year, which, um, you know, is the other half, if you like, of this sort of um, Neptune-Jupiter square, which is bringing, you know, so much information, so much... Um, knowledge our way that you know actually get into um, a sort of a point where we can say but that yeah but this this is really what, what I can run with this is what really um, is meaningful to me this is really what I want to work on this is the piece of the pie that I consider to be on my plate this is what I'm going to be doing 
and then that new moon in Aries which can kick start it and get it moving initially and then it runs into Saturn you know that um, new moon square Saturn next week on the 10th of April on the very day that Jupiter goes retrograde so we can see there's trouble ahead with new things that we start this week with our bigger plans Jupiter also go in retrograde so when the, the, on the day next week of this sort of uh, Sun Saturn square so there's work to be done and I think one of the important therefore I think one of the most important things this week is getting a goal getting the vision planning ahead and being patient I think patient is the key word okay wishing you a fantastic week thank you for listening and new heel even iets voor mijn Nederlands talig luisteren. Um, kijk even op astrologieblog.nl, want ik ga samen met Faye Blake Kossa, wij gaan een Saturnus Pluto um, workshop organiseren. Dus um, dat is iets uh, voor jullie. Oké, okay, een hele fijne week. Bye.